Did you know that the BF Dune Buggy is now a rare vehicle in Grand Theft Auto Online? And what makes this vehicle so rare is the fact that Rockstar has taken away the ability for us players to be able to purchase this vehicle in the game. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you a solo method on how to obtain and save this vehicle for absolutely free. Not just one version, but two different versions, so you guys will have the ability of keeping both versions if you want. Now, the first thing we're going to need to do is make our way on over to Polito Bay. So I'm over here at the casino so I can fast travel on over there. Now, the reason that we need to go to Polito Bay is because the job that we're going to be starting up has us has to go all the way out to Polito Bay because that's where the BF Dune Buggy is going to spawn. So that's the reason that we're going there first. So once we get into Polito Bay, yay. We're going to go ahead and pop open our map real quick. Let me just show you the exact location and where the BF Dune Buggy is going to spawn right here. So it's this dirt road. That's where we're going to be going. So let's pop open our pause menu online. And then from there, play jobs, Rockstar created. And then we're going to go down to missions. And we're going to go down to the C section. What we're looking for here is Chopper Tail down there in the C section. Here we go, right here, Chopper Tail. Let's go ahead and start this up. Doesn't matter about the settings completely solo so we don't have to worry about inviting any friends so let's go ahead and get right into the mission and then from there we can go ahead and grab a vehicle and make our way on over to the dirt road so let's do that real quick mine just happens to be a cement truck awesome all right so once you get to the dirt road we're gonna go up the dirt road and the bf dune buggy is right there there it is so that's the body copy, and this is the exact location in which it spawns. So there's two different versions that I'm going to show you how to get. Once again, this is the body copy. Now, we're going to get in this vehicle, and we're going to take this to one of our garages, okay? Like an apartment garage. That's what it has to be. So from here, we're just going to go ahead and drive into one of our garages. Uh, number one nope that's full we'll just take this into number two there we go now at this time by driving the vehicle into the garage we're saving the vehicle but the vehicle does not have insurance on it okay so that's just something we're gonna have to do next let's put insurance on it so the vehicle in the garage good to go pop up on your phone and just quit the job Now, once we get back into an invite-only session, we can just go to the garage that we put this into and go get the vehicle because we're going to be taking this on over to the Los Santos Custom Shop. So once again, we can go ahead and customize it potentially and definitely put insurance on the vehicle. And make sure on the way there, you don't do anything crazy like blow up the vehicle. You know how people are in GTA. All right, so once we're at the Custom Shop, just simply repair the vehicle if it's damaged and you hit anything. And then from there, we're going to go all the way down here, and we are going to put full coverage insurance on this thing. Which is only going to cost a measly $2,500. So that's pretty cheap right there. And that insures our vehicle, so just in case, you know, it gets blown up or it drowns or something like that, we can go ahead and insurance through Morris Mutual and call it back. So there it is right there saved and we just put insurance on it now what we're going to go ahead and do is head on back out to Polito bay so here's the second version which is actually my favorite version so what i had before is the body version that's the body version and this right here is the uh the not body version basically so once again we're going to do the same steps with this vehicle i did not have to start up the job because we already had that dune buggy and that dune buggy gets dune buggies to spawn in that's how that works so once we obtain the first one, we don't have to start up the job again. We just have to go out there, basically. So take it to a garage, and then once it's in a garage, we're going to go ahead and leave the job. And then once we leave the job, we're going to take this thing on over to the Los Santos Custom Shop, put insurance on it, and then potentially upgrade it. And now we have a rare vehicle in the game because, once again, Rockstar took the ability for us players to be able to purchase this in the game. So that's what makes this uh, rare vehicle now and it's really awesome this ability that's completely solo little requirements whatsoever and we can get these vehicles for absolutely free in the game 
So if you guys enjoyed this video and you were able to get a free BF Dune Buggy in the game, which they no longer sell, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe for more content, turn on those post notifications so you do not miss out on daily Grand Theft Auto 5 online uploads. Go check out more videos on my channel, and uh, hope you're all doing good. Having an awesome day. Thanks for watching. My name's Gravesite, and I'll see you in the next one. So, peace!